Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, may God bless you and I hope you have a good day I am so grateful in this occasion so before we get start please let me introduce who I am My name is Mi, Mi Nur Hasana I was born in Banyumas and I lived in Banyumas when I was young then I am moved to Purbalingga Now I live in a small village at Purbalingga Small village What do you think if you heard somebody say small village? No side no. What do you think about the villagers? Are they lack of information? Are they lake? Are they left behind from other people? From urban people? No, they are not. Not every villager is always left behind from urban people. I have proved it by myself. Recently, I have been selected as the one of the most outstanding student at General Sudirman University as known as Mahasiswa Berprestasi. It shows, even though I am a villager, I am able to compete with the urban people. So the other villager does, including you. I am a student at Animal Husbandry, and Animal Husbandry is a sector that have a part to contribute to reach the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. My friends and I at Animal Husbandry can give an active contribution to reach the targets of SDGs. I am also active in social program that have a good impact for SDGs itself. I have a social program with my teams and it has been held for these two years. We have a program to campaign about World Meat Day or in Indonesia called Hari Susu Nusantara and Hari Ayam Telur National or National Hen and Egg Day. The purpose of this program is to present the citizens to consume milk and egg and also chicken to fulfill their nutrition needs especially from animal proteins because it is very important for our health. Health, including body health and mental health, is one of sustainable, develop, uh, sustainable development goals issue. To have a healthy body, we need to fulfill our nutrition needs. Fulfill our nutrition needs. And the one of health problem in Indonesia is malnutrition that we call stunting, malnutrition at children or stunting. Stunting is a condition of failure to thrive in children under 5 or infants under 5 years old due to chronic malnutrition so that the child is sh too short for his age. In 2020, Indonesia took the second place in Southeast Asia for the highest stunting prevalence of stunting patients under 5 years old in red 31. 1.8 percent and in 2021 indonesian stunting performance rate in in 24.4 percent that's a little bit lower than before that means that stunting can be overcome the condition of malnutrition actually can be prevented by consuming healthy food to get the good nutrition since the pregnancy period we can get the good nutrition by consuming milk and egg because milk and egg both is easy to obtain, available everywhere and contains a lot of good nutrition such as proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals and fats. So mommy, you have no worry anymore to fulfill your nutrition needs and also for your baby. So the stunting can be prevented, health problem can be solved and we can achieve the sustainable development goals that is improving the welfare of all residents in all ages. I hope my program with my team can be an annual program so we can contribute to reach the sustainable development goals, especially in health issue. Always by asking people to consume to fulfill their nutrition. Because the nutrition is the only cure for future disease. If you have a good health, you will have a good mood. If you are healthy, you will be happy because healthy is happiness. And it's our job to reach the health goals because Mahatma Gandhi once said, health is your great wealth. That's all from me. Thank you very much for your kind attentions. See you in the next beautiful occasions and Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.